Rangers keep up their unbeaten run out in the Scottish Premiership. But what about the chasing pack? What do they get up to this weekend? We'll take a little look at that and much more next. show today we're taking a look at match day number 30 that's right and the scottish premiership and we'll get to that in just one second if you're new to the channel where the heck have you been boys smash the old subscribe button get your bag today with all things black and rose latest scottish premiership play well football related we're all here under war that's right goodness gracious me uh it's been a rough rough old few days uh for me rovers fans Ugh, i just can't i can't get over it at the moment uh but uh yeah hopefully i'm bouncing back here with of course the latest round of picks out in the scotland and we'll get to that in just a minute i want a big big shout out of course because we've got a bit of breaking news boys we've got a bit of breaking news that's right do, 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 do. that's right boys and girls we have not one but two brand new patreons that's right get in now now our veins, boy. That's in my veins. That's right. Goodness gracious me. Tom Beresford has returned as a Patreon to get us up to number 24. But then, of course, Alan MC. You know me, Alan MC. I say, you know me, Alan MC. He became number 25. So absolutely tremendous. What they did, though, they went over here to the Patreon.com forward slash Rover Seas and they joined the band of brothers right here, right now. So we're up to 25. Of course, we were there before, but we, then we lost a couple. But now we're back. So a big, big shout. So those my end of the end of 2021 goal is get this 50 patrons i know it's a big old ask but we're and we're we're a long way away from that but hopefully uh people out there can look at this and think you know what maybe i could be a, a, one of these guys here you could join in any one of these tiers there are, believe it or not there are a couple of up in this top echelon i know you want to you don't want to go there but it's 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 there if you fancy it but anyway let's get into the deep end of course uh, of course to take a look at how we all got on of course last time around with a bit of an extended match day out in the scottish premiership so here we go so here we bloody go, folks. Here we go. Recap the games that did take place uh, from a Saturday, the 13th of February, the day before Valentine's, of course. And it was Aberdeen against St. Mirren, who have been on a nice bit of run themselves. Nearly nil final score in the end. Actually, with a 2 win for Aberdeen. Shame on me. Uh, Dundee United did get back to winning ways. Of course, Livingston's uh, unbeaten run has come crashing to a halt. In recent match days, 3-0 lost. Dundee, uh, Dundee United coming out on top. Lawrence Shackland with a brace. Uh, Adrian Sporley as well on the score sheet for, uh, for Dundee United. Peter Powell got himself sent off, as did Jack Fitzwater uh, in a very, very feisty looking game. 3 0 there, 2 2 for me. Shame on me. Meanwhile, Motherwell uh, got their asses spanked to the, by them, uh, of course, by Hamilton Academicals. 4 1, big win for them. I actually went with a 2 1 win going in favour of Motherwell at Fur Park, but unfortunately, I've got it wrong. Bruce Anderson, Ross Callahan, uh, Marias Kumkumpo, and David Moyo on the score sheet. Mark O'Hara as well. Stephen O'Donnell got himself sent off uh, on this one. 2 1, final bloody score. Uh, that's the jackpot coming in. Of course, I did not win the jackpot. Pot. Uh, so yeah, big, big uh, win for Hamilton, big loss for me, and of course, big loss to Motherwell. Of course, Rangers, though, keep on keeping on with the 1 0 win over Kilmarnock. Just getting over the line, really, aren't they? Ryan Jack and the score sheet on the 38th minute, give them the win. I actually went with a 3 0 win myself. Not too shabby. Hibs against Ross County was postponed. I'll uh, we'll have to do that again another time. Emo St. Johnston against uh, uh, Celtic also was a win for Celtic. Where is it? Where is it? 2 1 win in the end. Uh, Oduas and Ed Edward with a couple of goals there. Sean Rooney, brother from another mother of Wayne and Adam, of course, getting on the Goal scorers there. Uh, actually, went with a three and a win. Not too bad. Got the right amount of goals on that one. Right amount of goals. Into midweek action. It was Celtic against Aberdeen. I was also one in with for Celtic. 3 2 for me. Got the right deficit on that one. The goal scorer there was David Turnbull on the score sheet. Uh, against, no, he used to play for Motherwell. And of course, St. Mary's Hamilton Academic was a 1 1 draw. Ikel Dumas on the score sheet. Bruce Anderson as well. Uh, so a big week for Hamilton. Uh, an okay week for St. Mary's. Remained unbeaten. And also a good week for Celtic. But of course, let's take a look at how it all went out, out in the table uh, before I go. I got four out of seven, which is pretty good. Uh, this is the table as it stands right here right now. Rangers, of course, got a 15-point uh, clearance over Celtic and yet to taste defeat. So, of course, comfortably in second. Hibs up to third. Four points clear over uh, uh, Aberdeen with a game in hand. Closing on potentially going up to maybe push for third, but I don't think so. Livingston down to fifth now. Of course, their, their unbeaten campaign or unbeaten stretch, which was a long, long run, has come crashing to a halt. Uh, St. Mirren also keeping up with contention. To, to, to get into that top six, the breakaway pack is coming soon, folks. 
I don't even know when the breakaway pack is. It, it must be within the next two or three, four, five match days, something like that. Uh, but anyway, in fact, if we, I think it must be match day 33, right? That's when, of course, they would have uh, played each other three times. Uh, down the foot of the table, Ross County going down as at the moment. Of course, Hamilton Academic is not too far away either. So let's take a look at, of course, the next round of matches, then kick it all off in just a minute. Uh, we'll have a look at that in a minute. This is the criteria. Because I've got, to, I've got to look at your picks. I've got to look at your picks. That's why we're all here. It's the bread and butter, boys. Uh, Shade of Donna, well done to you. Fantastic, they say. <laughs> In Germany, Yannick Busser did bits. Irish String also did fire the fabulous Russell Frost. Well done to you, of course. Yannick Busser did. Uh, where's Yannick Busser? Uh, he did all right. Uh, Vincent Hong did okay. Matt Gunner, he's all right. Of course, Tom Stain, absolutely fan fabulous as well. Gaming Charlie did, did poop. Uh, Ultra Mirror, well done to you. Fair play. Of course, Mark Chapman also did good. Phineas 77, new to the scene, but he did all right. Ola Giojo, fantastic as well. Meanwhile, Mark Spatelli, not too bad. Nathan Eve also did bits. Deepak the Great, he is great. Shepard also did fantastic. Uh, James BCFC are great. Uh, he also, not too shabby either. Omar Esquivel, well done to you. Of course, Jamie Gold smashed it as well. Just the one blip there. If your name is Gaming Charlie, you had a nightmare this week. Of course, you are being pretty good overall across the whole uh, the divisions, but sometimes you have a bad day, and today was your bad bloody day. Uh, but a big, big shout out to, of course, Yannick Buster, the king for this week. Match number 29. Belongs to you, sir. Belongs to you. What did I get? I got four. Would have put me in second spot. Silver medal. Let's take a look at the overall situation out in the division here. Who is your kingpin? Who is your royalty? It is Shane O'Donnell with a comfortable five percentage points clearance over Matt Gunner in second alongside Yannick Buster as well. Game Charlie, you're still up there in fourth within touching distance of at least second. Uh, so, so far, Shane O'Donnell looking good. He had a nightmare today, though. He had a nightmare. Yannick Buster gained two points on him, as did Matt Gunner. What did he do? Gained at least a point on uh, Shane O'Donnell. So it's there for the taking. So, of course, you need a couple more of those. And again, maybe it might get a little bit easier or more difficult when the, when the division gets split. So let's kick it on then, shall we? Of course, with the next round of matches, kick it all off this weekend. Starting on Saturday, it will be... St. Mary taking it on, of course. Uh, Livingston, but we'll look at that one later. First and foremost, we've got Aberdeen uh, taking on Kilmarnock, of course. They play each other, of course, in the last six encounters. Four wins for Aberdeen. Nothing for Kilmarnock again. Two draws last time around at Pertodri. was back in September 2020. This season, Ross McCorry on the score sheet. One new win for Aberdeen. They also played each other at Kilmarnock back in December. It was also a two new win for Aberdeen. So back to back wins for them. Uh, actually gone, what, well, of course, at least six games unbeaten against Kilmarnock. Though Kilmarnock, uh, sorry, Aberdeen, Aberdeen have actually failed to score in the last six matches in the Premiership, whereas Kilmarnock have actually lost their last seven. Uh, they also failed to score in eight of the last nine matches on the road. Heading into this, at least six wins on the uh, six defeats on the spin for Kilmarnock. Uh, they're absolutely in ropey W4 at the moment. They did fa fire Alex Dyer not too long ago. As uh, for Aberdeen, three defeats past four games. The only positive was a draw against St. Mirren. Uh, again, there could be a tie. It could be a time. Oh, I've, I'm, oh, I've got to write these names down. I've got to write these names down uh, for something later. Uh... Okay, uh, kicking off forward though. Let's take a look at the boogies odds then, shall we? Of course, Aberdeen have our favourites 10 to 7 on for the victory. Uh, 5 2 is your 70 to 4. Is your bloody away? We have, of course, Aberdeen coming out, out in fourth for win for them. They could close in on third. Uh, as for their opposition, Kilmarnock down into 10th for win for them. They could close in on ninth. Uh, for me, I think Aberdeen will get back to winning ways here with a comfortable 2 0 win over Kilmarnock at Potodri. Uh, kicking off forward down at Easter Road is Hibs up against Hamilton. The battle of the H's, of course, played each other in the last six. Five wins for Hibs, nothing for Hibs. Hamilton won a uh, draw, of course, last round at Easter Road was back in uh, October this year. 3-2 win for Hibs. Goal scores on the day. Kevin Nesbitt with a brace. Paul Hanlon as well. Ross Culligan. Uh, Ryan Potras with a big fat OG giving goals for Ham uh, Hamilton. They also played each other in Hamilton. It was also a 4 near win for Hibs. A Boyle, Deutsch, and McGinn and Nesbitt on the score sheet once again. Heading into this though, Hibs have actually won their last five home matches against Hamilton in all competitions. They're also scoring at least two goals in the last five against Hamilton as well. Hibs are winning their last three matches in the Premiership. They're coming into this looking pretty, pretty good. At the moment, three wins in the past uh, three games. I mean, ha Hamilton unbeaten in the last three as well. Picking up two draws and a win to boot. Hibs will be the favourites on this one. 9 4 on for the 10 to 3 is your 6 to 1 is your long shots. That is, of course, Hamilton. Hamilton coming at you at an 11th and win for them. They could actually go as high as 10th. Hibs are in third win for them. They could break the 50 point barrier and close in a little bit on Hibs uh, Celtic. But of course, that's probably too far gone. Uh, for me, though, going to give it to Hibs comfortably. And again, two to win. Another clean sheet to boot. Next, of course, we have Motherwell down against St. Johnson down at Fur Park. Of course, pleasure their last six, three wins for Motherwell, two for St. Johnson, and one draw. Last round at Fur Park was in the Scottish League Cup. We'll talk about more of that in a minute. Uh, they also played in the Scottish Premiership this season. Back in September was a 1 0 win for Motherwell. Uh, Goal scorer back then was Alan Campbell. Of course, they played each other uh, at uh, St. Johnson uh, back in November as a 1 1 draw. And they also played, like I said, in the Scottish League Cup as a 2 1 win for St. Johnson at Fur Park. So it was 1 1, lost 1 draw in the last three games between these two sides uh, against each other, of course. Uh, Motherwell winning three of the past five games, losing a couple as well. Meanwhile, two wins in the past uh, four games to Kilmarnock. So, uh, sorry, Super Chase. Uh, one was against Kilmarnock, one was against Livingston. They, they also lost against Rangers and Celtic, of course. So Super Chase are looking good at the moment. Uh, the bookies odds on this one 9 4 for Motherwell. 5 4 is your Super Chase. 
they are your favourites. 11 and 5 is your draw. St. Johnson coming at you out in uh, out in 8th. And for them, they could close in on 7th. As for their opposition, Motherwell, they're down in 9th. And for them, they could actually leapfrog St. Johnson up into 8th in the end. Uh, I like Motherwell. They've not been the same uh, this season as they were last season. Uh, but again, with the draw on this one, I think St. Johnson would be happy with that. And next, of course, St. Mary up against Livingston in the battle of the 6th spot here. Of course, uh, in fact, actually battle of the 5th spot. Of course, Livingston uh, currently in 5th. St. Mary in 6th. They play each other in the last 6. Uh, two wins uh, for St. Mary, 3 for Livingston and 1 draw last time around in St. Mirren. It was back in August 2020. That start of the season was a 1-0 win for St. Mirren. Uh, of course, they played each other back in Livingston uh, uh, in November. It was also a 1-0 win for St. Mirren. However, they also played in the Scottish League Cup and Livingston came out on top uh, with a 1-0 win wet as well. So two wins and one defeat. Uh, sorry, two wins for St. Mirren, one defeat. Well, one, one for bloody win for Livingston this season. Heading into this, uh, St. Mirren just one defeat the past four games. Their one defeat was against Celtic. Meanwhile, back-to-back -back defeats uh, for Livingston. Losing to St. John's and losing to Dundee United in quick succession. Breaking that, of course, Fantastic run they've had this season. Of course, Bookies odds 13 to 8 for St. Mary's 74 is the Livingston 21 to 10 is your draw. Of course, St. Mary coming at you out in sixth. And for them, they could close in on fifth. With a fifth place, Livingston, they could close in on Aberdeen into fourth. Uh, they're six points adrift at the moment. Played one game less. Uh, for me, though, I'm going to go with a 2 1 for St. Mary. Their, their form is there. Uh, Livingston look a little bit wobbly at the moment. Uh, and I think they'll just go over the line. Uh, next, of course, the Rangers taking on Dundee United at Ibrox. Played to them last six, three wins apiece and three draws. Uh, sorry, no draws. Uh, three wins apiece. Uh, of course, last time around at Ibrox was a 4 0 win for uh, Rangers back in September, of course. Ryan Kett, James Havener, Kamal Roof, and Scott Arfield on the score sheet. Um, and they're heading into this. They also played each other. At Tannadice back in uh, back in December, so two one win for Rangers as well. So back to back wins for Rangers over Dundee United, both home and away. Rangers winning their last fourteen matches in the Premiership. Uh, they also keep a clean sheet in thirteen last fourteen matches as well. Heading into this, of course, Rangers unbeaten in forever, uh, and of course, winning three of the past four games, drawing it with Hamilton. Of course, they're taking on, uh, of course, uh, Royal Antwerp today. Uh, as for Dundee United coming into this back to back wins, beating Ross County and also beating Livingston. I'm sure Rangers will be stone cold favourites on this one. They are to eleven to two on for the victory. Eleven to two is your draw. Fourteen to one is your long shots. That's of course. Is Dundee United. Dundee United coming at you out in seventh for a win for them. They could overtake uh, St. Mary into six. Rangers are first and they'll be there no matter what. Of course, Rangers will win this one uh, with a 3 0 win. Big points in the bag and keep on moving on. Keep moving the chains. Uh, Ross County taking on Celtic in the final game of this match day. We have a Brucey bonus though at the end of this one. Uh, Pleasure that last six, five minutes for Celtic, one win for Ross County. No draws. Last of a round in Ross County it was a 5 0 win for Celtic back at the start of the season. Uh, Uderson, Edouard, uh, Abian Jetty, Shane Duffy, uh, Kirsten of and Patrick Kelmieno on the score sheet. That was, of course, at the start of the season. They played each other uh, since then at uh, at uh, over in Glasgow as a 2 0 win for Ross County in the Scottish League Cup. But of course, Celtic did beat them, of course, uh, on their own turf in the league 2 0 as well. Um, so, Ross County have actually failed to win the, the 12 of the last 13 home matches in the Premiership. They're coming into this just one win the past four. That one was against uh, Hampton Academic. It was 2-1 win. Uh, meanwhile, Celtic winning five on the spin in all competitions, of course. Uh, looking pretty good at the moment, but of course, it's too little too late. Uh, look at the bookies. The odds on this one, Celtic will be your favourites on this one. They are 3-1 uh, to one on for the victory. 72-2 is your Ross County. 4-1 to one is your draw. Of course, Ross County coming in at the bottom of the, uh, bottom of the pops at the moment. Better win for them. They could actually go above Kilmarnock at the moment, who are really in that relegation uh, scrap at the moment. Uh, and they could end up going down. Uh, they play the game more than everybody else. Meanwhile, Celtic are in second win for them to close in on Rangers, but of course, uh, it's too far gone. I've gone with, of course, a win for Celtic with a 3 1 win in the end. Uh, then we have a Brucey bonus, of course, midweek match, and of course, we won't be back until the conclusion of this game. It is St. Mirren against Motherwell, of course. Play sure the last six, three for St. Mirren, one for Motherwell, and two draws. Last time around in St. Mirren was just a few weeks ago. Uh, it was a 1 1 draw in the Scottish Prem, of course. Goodness gracious me, goal scorers on the day there. Jamie McGrath from the penalty spot. Devante Cole for Motherwell. Uh, meanwhile, they also played each other at the start of the season. It was a 1 0 win for St. Mirren. Uh, that was over in Fur Park, so we are back-to-back -back games. In fact, one, two, they're actually unbeaten in one, two, three, four, five encounters. St. Mirren over over Motherwell, picking up a couple of uh, three wins and two draws to boot. Look at the bookies' odds on this one, then, shall we? We don't have the bookies' odds. Of course, it's a little bit too far gone. They, can, they can't give me the odds that far out. Of course, a win for uh, St. Mirren with a double match day. Uh, they could put six points on the board. They could actually go above Livingston into fifth. As for Motherwell, they've also got six points on the agenda. If they can win both of them, they could go as high as bloody hell six as well. They could go as high as six. They could break the top six with double wins here. Uh, I'm going to go with a 2-2 draw, which means back-to-back -back draws from Motherwell. And, of course, uh, four points on the agenda for St. Mary. And if I'm right, which, which I bloody well hope so, this is what the table would look like at the end of it. Uh, yes, it will. Of course, Rangers, of course, clearing uh, clearing the line at the top of the pops there. Uh, we have Celtic, of course, in second. Hibs will reign in third. Four points clear over Aberdeen with a game in hand. Of course, Livingston into fifth. St. Mary in sixth. Down third table, Ross County. And uh, going down, Hamilton not too far away either. That's what I think will happen. Be sure to get your picks in nice and early for this one. And we'll do 
it all again uh, once again on the conclusion of that midweek game next week. But until then, be sure to get the video some love and smash the old thumbs up, smash the old subscribe. And again, if you want to check out the links down below, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Facebook, and I'm on Patreon, just like Alan MC. You know me, Alan MC. I say, you know me, and of course Tom Beresford. Uh, getting back into the thick of things, becoming the latest members of the Patreon gang. Twenty five. Do appreciate that, guys, especially through times like these, especially when Rovers are shite. Uh, so do appreciate all the loin. Uh, until then, I'll see you all next time. Be, be safe out there, mask up and all that kind of jazz. And I'll see you all uh, when we come back around next week. Until then. Uh,